Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we start our 300th proper episode. I know we have a, uh, a couple seven episodes for covering manuals and stuff, but uh, yeah, this is our 300th. Oh. It's been a while, but uh, it's going to go on for a while more and we're going to have a lot more episodes. Without further ado. Last time we um, protected a flight of F-111s that um, bombing a strategic bridge down the hands, and uh, we were also loaned out to the uh, Lithuanians who had been, along with the Estonians, were provided with a sob grip and aircrafts. Let's see who we fly for today. Spirit Walk, Parnu Air Base date, August 4th, local time, 0130 hours, weather clear. Guessing this is uh, US then. Situation, the central hub of the Russian system is a supply depot and repair facility located near the border town of Sikov. Sikov? I don't know how to say that, but um. Mission objective, use a B-2 stealth and superior payload to destroy the supply depot. Your targets are three shelters, six fuel tanks, two factories, and five storage. Threat suppression data, ground opposition, ZSU-24, air opposition, SCU-35s, MiG-31s, and MiG-29, electronic intelligence, support aircraft, AWACS. Alright, so I'm a little nervous about the Su-35 since that's more or less most technologically against them. Um, it... Like F-15s will cover. Oh, pardon. I thought that's a player. It's like wait. But um, it looks like F-15s and F-6 should cover our escape one and across the battle. But until then, any. Did they not give us a 7 pack? That's the thing. But that's not our 20 bombs. I don't think there's really a need for the X. I think we get, what, 8? No, we only get 8. Yeah, so I'd rather just have the, uh, the extra firepower there. I'm not gonna spend 20 minutes dialing down the field. That, let's get started. Okay, first order of business as always. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, looks like they. Oh, yeah, I guess they were crossing it earlier, so yeah, Tartu is uh, completely under their control. And our range out to 25 knots. It looks like there are currently no aircraft. Hey, for the target area. Yep, we're seeing what are probably uh, big 29 M's or Su-35. Oh, big 31s. But uh, even though we're in visual range, they uh, don't see us apparently. And I'm guessing the large cluster of uh, ground contacts there on our RWR is going to be our uh, target zone. So let's start banking that way. And we're going to head up to 40,000 feet and then basically hope that we can still see the, uh, the ground. At that I really wish like they have these nonsense buttons here. I wish I could kind of zoom in as it were they get air ground radar just so that way I have a uh, Visual reference here. Okay, so it's going to be a large tarmac with structures on the outside and fuel tanks in the middle. Get 
We should be coming up on, um, on the target zone at any point now, especially this high up. Our bomb scope should, uh, should be seeing them. I see a uh, triple A there. There's a the tarmac. Alright, bombs are way. Let it rain, let it rain. bay doors and let's climb back up to safety and away from the freaking big 31s or su 35s that are trying to kill us okay they lost their lock on us uh the uh people on the ground not so much but uh i think this will be sufficient Nothing like a good old-fashioned carpet bomb. Okay, it looks like we missed one fuel tank. And, uh... And, uh, one storage unit, I think. around for another pass we can knock it out and then be done all right four miles out it's a position of enemy aircraft that are out there co oh, pilot supplemental radar I don't think I ever tried to initiate a supplement radar right now, so <laughs> I don't know what that is. Really? We're gonna concentrate the remainder of our bombs on uh on the fuel storage. Which uh there they are. And we have four bowls, so that leaves us four bombs for a pass. If there's anything else, hopefully there isn't. Oh, there's the tarmac. Make sure we're not stalling out here, that's like my biggest fear. I love to watch these, but I also don't want to lose aircraft. Alright, we did hit all five storage units, so I think it's just these two fuel tanks. And the shelter. There we go. Go to checkpoint Charlie. And we will by over these boys, they won't know we're here. Permission silent. Looks like these are uh, MiG 29Ms. So more or less equivalent to the F-16. Uh, I think the earlier the MiG 29s that are featured earlier in the game, with their loadout of almost exclusively IR missiles, I think those are more equivalent to the F-16A. Oh, well, we have a. Uh, more hostiles ahead of us. But we're going to climb to 50,000 feet or however high we can get away with and uh, just fly over them. Oh, I saw a missile on uh, 
Yep, there are missiles in the RWR. Don't know what's going on though. Not see out there. But at least this is good for burning off uh, this fuel. God knows we didn't need it all. Alright, there's some Russian ground forces down there. Things were going fast down a bit. Uh, there's some of the Lithuanian or the uh, Baltic forces down there on the river. Still, uh, any aircraft. We saw uh, missile exchanges. I would expect to see either hostile or friendly aircraft. I'm not sure yet. Then again, they could be down here since we did turn uh, the starboard a bit here. I think, uh, yeah, I think we're safely behind our lines, so. Oh. <laughs> like, I'm already going down. We're just gonna kind of go down. Waypoint Echo, bearing 315, descend to Angel Zero. There we go, now we're at a reasonable altitude. Airfield should be uh, coming up on our IR anytime now. There we go, now we're seeing uh, friendly fighters, so hopefully that means they uh, won that little uh, brawl then. Yeah, it's 15 miles. Man, the IR has really limited range, even at night, where it's it, uh, a buff to its range, you know, because typically nights are per side, which is going to make hot stuff stand out a bit more. Uh, even with that, it. We're almost home. Not stand. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we want to this way. Play the flaps. Try to bring this baby in. I think we'll need a bit more power. Where to land? Wind at seven knots. A lot more power. And down a little too quickly. Kinda even it out now. We're almost lined up. Actually, why are we using the small? We should be using the big runway because we're a big aircraft. Small one might be fine for fighters and all. We are going to land on the big boy. Right now we should be able to reduce. Bring her down. All right. Wow, this thing is takes a lot of throttle to keep it up in the air. And we have a successful touchdown. A bit hard, but we are down on the ground. Welcome home. Hey. Suppose we should try to pull this sucker down now. There we go. We Decent speed for uh, taxiing here. 
Alright, looks like the planes are this way. And we'll just park here. In reality, we'd have to park in one of the hangars, because uh, a special uh, climate control hangar to maintain their health code. And we even roll. So, there we go. Mission accomplished. So, with that, I think we can uh, end the mission. Debrief. Partner Air Base. Date August 4th. Mission Spirit Walk. Resolution Success. Bet those bombs shook that sleepy town awake. Great work bringing the war home to the enemy. Destroyed all 16 targets, we took no damage, we destroyed 16 structures and 6 vehicles, cargo and fuel trucks, um, our bombs only had a 41% hit, that's 5, we have hundreds of them, and no one fired at us. Mission. So with that, we will do our maintenance on our bomber, and then we will be ready for the next mission, but until then, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned, I mean, stay safe out there. See you then.